What's going on YouTube? GS right here. So in today's video I have some great news for those of you on iOS 16 waiting for a jailbreak, especially on the newer devices. A brand new kernel vulnerability has been achieved which could be used for jailbreak purposes. This video is brought to you by Anytrans, a software that allows you to drag and drop files directly from your computer to your device. You can also do selective backups only to the files that are not already backed up on the computer, thus saving you a lot of space. So definitely check the program out in the link below. So a couple of days ago, Simon Mo36 posted this, basically a screenshot with no other information. It appears to be a panic log which shows that they are running iOS 16.1.2 and it appears that they were successful in modifying the kernel memory. So as you can see over here the Darwin kernel version which definitely matches iOS 16.1.2 and it's also done on the iPhone 15.3 which if you go back in here on my iOS signing status you can find which device that is. So 15.3 that would basically be the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is currently the latest device. So this was done on 16.1.2, which is currently signed as well. 16.2 is currently the latest version, but this one is still currently signed, so I would definitely advise you to save your blobs. Now this being a kernel vulnerability can definitely be used for jailbreak purposes, which is definitely great. Now of course I'm talking about the newer devices in this case, for example the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, 10s, 10s Max, 12, 13 and stuff like that. The older devices are already jailbroken on iOS 16 all the way up to 16.2, maybe even 16.3 thanks to Pelrain. Pelrain has announced a couple of days ago that they have successfully updated their jailbreak to iOS 16, including 16.2, and this is basically with tweaks. So for the older devices like the iPhone 10, the iPhone 8, 8 Plus and stuff like that, there already is a jailbreak for iOS 16 on all versions, and it does support tweaks. However, for the newer devices, the ones that are not supported by Pelrain, this vulnerability over here seems to be very important, especially since it allows them to control the kernel memory. But that's not all. If you take a look here on the security content of iOS 16.2, basically the patch log for 16.2, there are a lot of kernel vulnerabilities amongst other things. One of them is coming from Ian Beer, which is actually great, but there are many of them coming from Pattern F, as you can see over here, which is actually great because Pattern F has released stuff before. They even demonstrated a jailbreak for iOS 15 back in March. So we might be able to see these vulnerabilities being released in the future, all of which work with the newer devices on iOS 16 all the way up to iOS 16.1.2. So those were patched on 16.2. So for the moment if you're waiting for a jailbreak I would definitely advise you to stay below 16.2. There are important jailbreak vulnerabilities available and I would definitely advise you to stay on 16.1.2 or lower, especially on the newer devices. For the older devices you already have a jailbreak so definitely enjoy it. But that's basically it. You can stay updated with what's currently signed on my website in here on the iOS signing status. The website is iDeviceCentral.com. You select your device and it shows you what iOS versions are currently signed and which iOS versions are not. So definitely check that out. Thank you for watching. I'm Geo Snow. Peace out.